before Europeans came to California, Native Indians used shell money as a form of currency. Pomo and Miwok people were known for clamshell discs like these, and they were worn around their necks. Pomos were also known for mining magnesite and paomo, which are these, which had an addition of monetary and ceremonial value. So we have created this California Indian shell necklace kit, and we have made it in honor of the California Indians and their extensive trade. So today we will be showing you how to make them. So first, obviously you want to be ready, so you're going to empty out all of your stuff onto the table or whatever, or your desks or whatever if you're using them in class. And would you like to read the instructions for oh, you? Yes, they come with instructions. They come with instructions. Okay, first you want to take the string and fold it in half. Okay, and then you want to take the folded end of the string and put it through the thin end of the abalone shell. This one, right? There we go. Okay. And then make a loop with the folded end of the string and take the ends of the string and put the loop through and pull it tight. What? Like this? Yeah. I see. So just make like a little loop knot thing. There you go. Take the coarse sandpaper in the brown olive shells and begin to sand the pointed tip until a hole appears. Do this with two brown olive shells. Okay, so these are the brown olive shells. They are the ones that kind of look like hermit crab shells, but you can tell they're not because they're way too tiny. Still no hole. Okay, so there is a hole. We need two of these. Okay, and so I'm going to do one more. Okay, and then here is the second one. It also has a hole. Next, take the white denatilium that looks like a tooth and sand the openings on both ends with fine sandpaper until the string will fit through the openings. Two of them, right? Yeah. And in case it is too small, you can use the paper clip and unwind it to clean it out. You can do this. Stick the paper clip through and clean it out. See, stuff is falling. That's what you want to be doing. So now this is clean. Now place one of the denatillion and one of the brown olive on each side of the string. Doesn't matter which one goes first, I mean, this just is do what you want. I'm making the brown olive show just a little bit bigger. Okay, so there's this one. So also, I'm also going to sand the other side of it. Back then, because sandpaper wasn't invented yet, they most likely used rocks like this. The Native Americans probably used any sorts of rocks they could find. Okay, so then I have this one, which is about the same size, this one's a little bigger. And then I'm going to sand the bottom you probably need a whole class period to finish it though, maybe a couple. Okay, so I'm just sticking the denatillium in the olive shell. Hours and hours and hours of fun. It will keep you busy. For at least a day. I'm using a different type of tool now, and actually a different type of shell. This is just a, a piece of like a clamshell, but it's just filed down into a circle. So I'm using a different type of tool right now. Um, you put it over, place it over something, and all you do is to wind it up is roll it, 
to the side and the strings will come up and all you do is just like go with it. I don't know if that makes sense. Like this. And just go up, down, and you're trying to drill. Making some progress. Um, this is actually used uh, by the American Indians in California. And uh, they actually used it to make jewelry. Let me see if I've made any progress with this. Made it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna move this. And um, so, okay, great, it fits now. So I'm just gonna string this through one and then put another one through. These uh, necklaces that were made, abalone especially is very, um, it's like considered pomo money. It, 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 that is a really common term for it. Um, and be, it, honestly, I feel like it was called pomo money because it just looks really pretty. Like if you look at this, this is, this is really pretty. Like it's rainbow almost. Who wouldn't want that? I would trade, for, I would trade that for something. But, um, so I'm just gonna put, one of these shells on there and then here we go. So I'm just gonna string this to the bottom so that it's like that. Take another piece on the other side, string it through. Okay. And then, so you have that. And then you're going to take another shell bead another one like you started with, and then you're going to thread it through again. And take another one, the same kind, and string it through the other side. And so you're gonna continue this pattern until you're satisfied, or until you run out of beads, whichever comes first, and when you get to the end, you just tie it however you want. Some people tie it so that they can untie it again. Some people tie it like that. I can tell you how I did that. So you just tie it like you fold it like this and you take, wait, how did I do that? Oh, okay, I see. And you twist it and grab this and pull through. Don't know if you got that. And then, yeah, you can hold it like that. And there is your necklace. And it has three forms of Pomo money on it.